Here again with Coach Pele, Coach Moose, just finished down the 10s game. Uh, under eight game started behind us, so just get a quick review. 2-1 uh, today, loss, 1-0 uh, up. How was it for you guys? Uh, start with Moose. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to say is uh, it was a lot, a lot improved performance um, compared to last week. I saw, um, so yesterday in the training session we focused on team shape, how we should defend uh, when, when we're getting attacked. I saw that during the game today it helped a lot. There weren't, there weren't as many chances um, created by the opposition, but I think it is encouraging that the kids are learning and implementing what they learn on Saturdays now. But it's, it's still a lot of work to do, I think. Pels, um, I noticed in the uh, uh, one one, our team was very very deep. Yeah. Uh, Benny playing in the hole. Yeah. Um, what was the thinking behind that? Um, I think it's maybe just the case of the team. They often like to drop off, you know, when they, when they, you know when they're a bit tired. Um, you know, that's what we're trying to you know get out of them. You know, trying to press from the front, which we did, which we done well enough in the first half. Yeah, that I think team, that team didn't play football uh, in the first half. Second half, they grew up to that other team. But, you know, I think it's more just, just to get it out of them. Because one of my main gripes is because we often drop back too much, and that, the other team's got too much space in the hole of the centre just to, just to run through. But first half, it was good. Second half, it was just, uh, I think, just maybe tiredness from them. Yeah. Um, Muz, I noticed in, from the opposition, they like to play from the back. And when they played long from the back, it was always to a, a teammates' feet. How do you think we could get our boys to do that? I think it's important to get the boys confident playing out for the back because you can teach kids to play at the back but if they're not confident then at the end of the day they're just going to end up losing that ball so I think as coaches we need to, we need to give them belief that they, they, they have the ability to play a short pass from the goalkeeper to the defender if it, if it needs to be a ball down the line the keeper can play the ball on the floor and he has to be able to trust his... Benny, we just did this yeah? Ryan, move about to the ball's ready. Rayon, get in front, get in front. Hands up, hands up. That's it, hands up. Boys, let's move around. Hands up. Let's move around. Ryan, Ryan, come off the there. line. Come forward, come just forward. There. Just there. That's it, just there. Got Hamza. Yeah! Get him! Get him! All right, just finished the game down the 10s. How was that for you? I thought they'd done better than last week. I, I just think we want to see more conviction and just effort, more effort. Um, they did well in the first half. Yeah, yeah, the first half, what, it's like switching plays. If they would be on that side, on the left hand side, and you think, oh, come on, there's space on the right hand side, at least find a play. No one would look up, they just stay on that side. What do you think we can do in training to get them to do the things that you're saying? I, I still, you have to understand that I think they should start working as a team to in training to let them understand that you're a team. I think they have more chemistry. There's, most of them they don't bond together. They don't look like someone like Kieran and they say pass it to Kieran and they're still looking for someone like their mate that they know. And, and so I think it's more working together to play as a team. Yeah, and um, so far, season review, you know, first time we're speaking to you. So how do you think we're doing? We've not done too well, as you know, probably. Yeah. But I think we're improving. I, I can give you that. I think we're improving. I, st I still believe that when you look at them and you're thinking we can go, we're not saying that you have the talent. What I would like to see is more effort yeah. and to understand in a game that you can work harder to get what you want. Right? There may, you may be playing against players that are better than you, but the one thing you can't, you cannot stop is giving that effort. They can't beat you on that. That's true. Right? Yeah, that's fine. That's good yeah. for me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, here with our under tens captain Adam and man of the match yet again. Benjamin, Benny as we call him. Um, boys, you just lost 2-1 out there. Um, how do you feel about it? Benny, I'll start with you. It was good because last match we lost 14 nil, so it was improvement. That's fair enough. Um, so yeah, Adam, I'm going to come back to you. Yeah. How do you think your performance was today? It was okay. Um, cause, um, uh, I, I just, um, You're just happy about that flip-flap, aren't you? No, go on. They changed my position uh, and the position was very good and I worked, I worked better than the, what, what, uh, what my position was last time. What do you think your favourite position, what do you think your best position is on a football pitch? Do you know yet or do you still think you're learning about it? I think, I think I'm learning about it. think you're learning about it. What about you, Benny? We've seen you play uh, up front for the under 10s, seen you play right back for the under 12s, yeah. saw you play in the middle today. What do you think? Growing up in the future, I mean, everyone's hopeful that you're going to become 
uh, the first pro at R77. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. But what do you think is going to be your position in the future? Right back. Right back. For what club? Yeah, in the Premier League. What club? Or anywhere in the world. What club are you playing for in the future? Real Madrid or Liverpool, that's good. And Adam, if you were to make it pro, what club would you play for? Um, Man United or Bayern Munich. Man United or Bayern, that's a good, that's a good answer. All right, last question. Yeah, last question. You this correctly. Last question. Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. With um, Benny's dad, uh, special guest of honour, always here, yeah, yeah. week in, week out. Um, saw the under-10s just now. How do you think they're done? Honest opinion. First half, they were okay and just okay. Um, a couple of chances in the first half, which we should have, we should have scored. One, one on one. A um, couple of other chances, which we missed. Not clinical in front of goal. You've managed before, so you know all about this side of the game. Um, what would you do if 30 seconds, I give you 30 seconds to tell us what you would do to change this team's fortunes around? Well, see, what you would have realised yeah, you've got to look at players and individual abilities. If the ability is not there, it's very difficult for anyone, for management, for anyone to change these things around. At the end of the day, it's up to the player that comes on that pitch on a Sunday and that trades on a Saturday to know and when they're taught something, to be able to implement that on the pitch. If the player can't implement that, unfortunately, it's going to let the team down. And as I saw today, there were two players, maybe three, um, that just weren't performing. And that's we. I've been, I've been watching this under 10 since the start of the season and those same players are not doing the job and I just don't think they're up to the, up to it, to be honest with you. So would you um, say to management to have a look at them and potentially get rid of them? Or would you say that they need to be worked on a bit more than okay. the rest? All right. It's not for me to say whether you get rid of them or you keep them. Yeah? But what you've got to realise at the same time, a player cannot play ball. It's very difficult for them to then go and play ball. Unfortunately, it is definitely going to affect something. And if they can't perform and they can't get into a game and they can't kick a ball, to be honest with you, or pass a ball, then it's they look at themselves and say, look, is this sport really for me? So we're here for, uh, on Black Sunday, uh, two disappointing results. I mean, we'll start off with the under eight uh, blue. I mean, what do you make of the performance, first of all, uh, Mole Coach Mole? Yeah, it was, uh, it was the first game ever. Uh, yeah. We played against Pro Star, which was in the Red League. Uh -huh. um, they use a lot of the players from the Red League to play us. It was good performance from the boys, I thought. There were spells where they yeah. were passing, they were playing well. Um, in the end, I think we lost. It was 12 0 in the end, I think. Yeah. We had some good performances across the park, probably. Dahib and Golden yeah. made a lot of saves. Um, and the Pratt, done very well. Another one, Nishan, he done very well. I think. Yeah. Overall, they had spells here and there, but it was good for us to see, good for the parents to see his progression, so yeah. we just got to keep working on it. That's okay. We've got to move on to Coach Rudy then, uh, and uh, another bad, uh, bad result here for you. I mean, what do you make of your performance for the under-8s red? Bad, bad. Team let me, te team let Yunus down, I think. More than anything, they let that goalkeeper down. What, what, what? I'm happy in one sense, I'm upset in another sense, I'm angry in another sense. I've got all the emotions running through me right now. Because Inter would die, that's a, that's a good football team that is. That's, top that that's a good, good football team. Very happy with, the, with what I saw in terms of kids. There are kids who can play football. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And they play the right way, our team can play the right way. So I'm happy to see that. Um, in terms of our boys, yeah, three peas, just throw it by the window. I had a full beat pants today. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were, pants. That's the easiest way to describe it. You know, we're going to use a P word and I'm going to use pants, not the other one, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, um, but nah, we're not, we're not there. We're not there. I mean, what do you think what went wrong in preparation? Another P I can add that. Preparation. Came out there. It's not their fault. They've won so many games. They've been undefeated for six months. You know, it happens. They get a bit lackluster, like you know, they think, you know, we can just roll over any team that comes in front of us. And then they get culture shock because yeah. that's a football team, you know. Well, they come out there, they pass the ball from the back. They're like, they've played football the right way and credit to the packs off to yeah. them. Very happy with them.
here with my former teacher from school, now I can call him Rob, and his son Stephen, who's a goalkeeper for Interwood. Um, they just had a very good game. Um, first, I'll start with a parent. Great team you've got there. Yeah, great team. What's the secret? The secret is they've been together for two years. They, they train hard every Friday and Tuesday. Um, obviously, they've been together for two years, so they get to, they've got to know each other. They've got to know each other's movement. There's a good solidarity between the team, and they'll just work together as a team. No rocket science, just, it's just good foundations. And Stephen, you were in goal today, quite not busy. That's unlike our team, because we have scored 113 goals this season. Huh? So you're quite lucky in one sense. That boys didn't come out and play today, but you did a very, very good job. How was it for you? Uh, well, kind of. Um, well, unlucky with your free kick, but. Very, very um, gracious of you to say. Yeah. But I think I made some good saves and I kept a clean sheet. Are you a Spurs fan like your dad? Yeah. Yeah? You're going to be playing for Spurs soon? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, How many of your boys are? Uh, uh, at there's, Academy. Look, there's two boys signed for Tottenham for next year, I think. I mean, I, I won't speak out to Yeah. There's, I think everyone apart from Stephen is just a uh, just recently joined the team this year. Yeah. Does work at clubs. Okay, that's and perfect. And also, not just clubs, but they train at Interwood two or three times a week. So they're putting a, they're putting a lot of effort into football. Of course, of course. Yeah. And a little word from you, based on what you saw for us. I know we didn't show up much today, um, but like I did say, it was a probably a bad day at the office for us. Yeah. As a coach, as a PE teacher of mine formerly, what word of advice would you give? Right. Well, what I'd say to you, you play the game the right way. Yeah, you set you set your team up. You've got good structure. You're encouraging them to be confident on the ball. It will come. Obviously, we've got a little bit more experience than you. Hard work and training. It's not rocket science again. When you haven't got the ball, you work hard to get it. When you've got it, you make good runs. You work hard off the ball. When you work together to make angles and make good decisions. But you've got good foundations. You're one of the better teams we've played in terms of structure, attitude, and trying to play football. We appreciate that. Okay. And how do you think your um, students turned well, I think out? You're doing very well. You're coaching the team well. You're getting the best out of your players. And above all else, they're coming, they're smiling, playing football. Thank you very much, okay. sir. All right, here with Yash again. Um, just uh, that's a bad result out there today. What's your verdict on what happened out there? The verdict? The, the team was too good. They're physically much stronger, technically much better. In terms of pace, much faster. Organisation, much better. In every department, they slaughtered us. And that's simply that testament to their players. Their players are absolutely amazing. They were so organised. I think our players were a bit um, starstruck out there. I don't know about being starstruck. They just, they just, I, I don't think they were, in the, they were in their league. They were not in their league. But they are in our league. But they were not in their league. You know, in every department you saw out there, they were not in well, their I league. I saw it, trust me. Exactly. And I'm going to have my bit to say I'll in a bit. What, the way I see that team play, they're not a top team for no reason. Nah, when people right. tell me they're the best in East London... What do you think we can do to, to get to that level? Recruitment drive. You need better players. Simply. You need better players. Our players, again, I say, say we, they need to be physically a lot stronger. A lot stronger. They need to start doing some physical... Even with coaching side, we need to start physically getting them ready. Mentally start preparing them. 